Welcome back to another episode of the Michael Will Morning Show. Um, we'll see how many mornings we can actually keep this up. Today we're going to talk about photo albums, and more specifically, wedding albums. And really, you know, the reason is because no one has ever said, I really regret having these pictures printed. No one ever says that. So I'm going to share five things, five points that I think are why it's important to have a wedding album. And we'll do that. So number one is the wedding album distills the day. You're gonna get a lot of a lot of photos from your wedding. You know, I think I deliver somewhere between 700 to 1,000 ish, and realistically, you're not gonna go back and look at all of those photos. So, what's important about this is it, the photo album, and even if you go back and watch my video, the four four things you have to do with your photos. A big part of that is distilling them. So taking your favorites from each scene, you know, as a photographer, I'm gonna like different photos than you're gonna like as a client because you like the way you look at them or you like, you know, who's in them or the angle or whatever it is, you have a special story about it. Same thing with your photo album. Part of distilling it, you know, taking those thousands of photos and narrowing them down to maybe 50 to 100 that really capture the day that you're gonna build stories and memories around. And what the photo album does, it takes those images and it, you basically, you pull the best of the best out and that's what you're gonna look at. That's what's gonna jar the memory. It's gonna remind you why you why you did it, why you fell in love, and everything with that. So these are the ones that um, you know your kids, grandkids are gonna grow up looking at. So it's really nice because you get to pull the favorites, kind of create your own story. Beautiful thing. Number two is it's a proven classic. So I don't know how old you are, or if you remember VHS tapes, cassette tapes. Um, I heard vinyls making a comeback, which is crazy. But how often do you go back and look at those things? And even right now, there's a huge uh, market and business for converting old VHS tapes to DVD. And now DVD is going the way of the dinosaur and everything's digital, everything's online. And I'll tell you, as, as much as I love the cloud and you know the, the USBs that I've sent to clients before, I still get emails from couples that say, hey, we moved, we misplaced it, or I never downloaded the photos, I, I don't know where they are, do you still have them for me? Or can I still get a copy of them? And I, I do still keep them, so don't hesitate to reach out. But there's something about an album because it's timeless. You know, there's something about printed images. There's something about something that you can hold and see and feel. Think about this. Uh, this is a story, actually. So I, I went to Europe in college. Uh, we went to a bunch of, we went to Amsterdam, we went to Prague, uh, went to Hungary, went to all these really cool places. And I have all, all the pictures on a hard drive. But right now, I can't tell you where they are, and I can't tell you the last time I looked at them. I think I think they're in the attic somewhere in, in a box, you know, of, of old things. But when I think about going and finding that, it's just so much work. I'm like, eh, I won't even look at them. And I've met so many great people. I have so many experiences and stories and things that you know it would be fun to go back and look at. But the amount of work to dig back up those photos is just overwhelming. That said, I have photos printed from high school. I got film developed, I put them in like sleeves and I know exactly where that is. It's in my living room in our bookshelf and I pulled it out from occasion because it's easy. It's it's there, it's printed, I can, I can flip through it and that kind of brings back memories. So there's something about your wedding album being easily accessible, especially when talking about relationship, about love, about your spouse and your partner and the reason you did it. There's something about images that can spark, spark a little romance, spark some, fond feelings to say and you might be there on a Saturday you might be thumbing through the album and just I mean it's just a beautiful thing just think about it think about it all right number three it's tangible like I was talking about a little earlier physical products people just like them more you know we have these albums here this is the uh, a smaller one crystal glance I don't know about you, but on my camera, on my cell phone, I think I, I'm, I'm over probably 20,000 images now. I have a lot of images. And digital's cheap. I mean, honestly, I, you know, we can take more, we can, we can store more, we can do more. But there's something about when you have it in your hand and you can hold it and feel it, it takes on a whole new life. And to be honest, as a photographer, it wasn't until I started printing photos that I felt like I was a real photographer. There's something about seeing it and, and holding it that just really... It's really special. Number four, four, number four, it's a family heirloom. So this is like your first family heirloom. It's one of those things that's gonna last. All of our stuff is handmade. It's either made in the United States or Italy, depending on the type of book that you get. And they're made in archival paper. They're, you know, they're sturdy, they're beautiful. And your kids and grandkids are gonna look at them. They're gonna talk about how badass you guys are, how amazing you look. And the, the, here's the thing too. 
when you get an album through your photographer, uh, through me, as opposed to doing it on your own, is you get access to really quality stuff. Like these ones here, like I said, they're handmade. The type of paper that we can do, the type of UV coatings that they get, um, it's an investment, but it's something that is, is built to stand the test of time. It, you know, and it's one of those things where, it, you know, if there's a fire, God forbid, if there's a fire or emergency or something, you're gonna run and you're gonna grab your, your photo album because it's important. And it's something people are going to want and gonna look at generations and years down the road. So really cool to have. Number five and last one is just easy reference. So, you know, when friends come over, you know, you're hosting, you have people over your house. I, I guess people are going to open up their phones, but people aren't just going to be like, oh, show me your Instagram feed. I really want to see your, your wedding photos. Or no one wants to look at all 900 of your wedding photos on your Apple TV or whatever. You know, they're just not going to be that into it. But there's something about pulling out an album or having it on your coffee table that, you know, your guests, your family can just thumb through it and look at your stuff and it sparks conversations, stories. Oh, let me tell you about so-and-so or such and such or this cool location or this fun thing that we did that's important to us. And even, you know, like I was saying earlier, Saturday morning, you're there, you're married. Maybe it's been a, a rough week. You got in a big fight, but you see the photo album, you thumb through it. And I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna tell you that you, it's gonna make things easier or it's gonna, you know, make you fall back in love, but it just might, it just might. So there's the five things. Recap distills the day. So it takes all the photos, narrows it down to the best, the most important, the ones with the stories and the memories. Number two, it's a classic. You know, it's not gonna go out of style. It's not going to be outdated. There's something about printed photos. It's tangible, so you can hold it, you can feel it, it feels more real. You're breathing life into something that you would just look at on your phone normally. It makes it special. Four, it's a family heirloom. So it's something that you're gonna pass down from generation to generation. Your kids are gonna look at it. They're gonna talk about how freaking awesome you guys look. And five, it's easy reference. So you're more apt to look at your photos, to look at your images, than you would if they were on your phone or in the cloud or on the computer. So there's five things, five reasons to get an album. And now I'm gonna get into the types of albums that we have and answer some questions about those. So thank you so much. And let's move on to part two. All right, welcome back to part two, uh, the types of albums, and we're gonna get into it. So if you're watching this, I probably emailed it to you or you're curious about the content, what we're doing, et cetera. Basically, I wanna share kind of the types of albums that we have and a little bit into the process just so you have a better idea, answer a lot of the questions. So the first thing, uh, and the first, the most popular one, I guess, is our heirloom album is the Crystal Glance. So this is a 16 by 12, it's a really nice size. As you can see, it's about as big as this is relative to my head. So this is the 16 by 12. I have one bigger. Um, we can do a 16 by 18, no, 18 by 14, something like that. We can do something bigger. And we also have a smaller size, which is popular for parent albums. So this is the smaller size. It's a 12 by eight. So you kind of get an idea here. Mind the reflection. But this is kind of options here. You can see the camera, it's awesome. Anyway, this is the Crystal Glance. It's probably our most popular. Uh, has a leather spine and back. Truly is a beautiful specimen, gorgeous book. Um, this one here is printed on the paper, so you can get an idea. We can do pretty much everything. Here, I'll move some of this stuff around so you can see a little bit better. So the way it works is, as far as designing the album, is you have the option to pick the photos or we could pick them, we can lay them out. There's something about having your photographer pick the images. Uh, I had a client once and said, we wouldn't even try to do it ourselves because the way you see things and lay things out, we know there's gonna be something special in it. So what's really popular is my clients will have us do a first round pick and then you get unlimited edits. So you can go back, you can change it up, you can pick different photos, you can kind of customize it to make it exactly what you want. So here's just an example of kind of what this looks like. This paper has a little bit of gloss to it. We can also do a more matte paper. You can get a feel for what it looks like. But really is an amazing book. As far as options, you can do all leather on the front. Um, the types of leather vary. So this is like little, little some swatches of leather. That yeah. Leather swatches, not much to it. Leather swatches, we can switch it up. Uh, it comes in other sizes as well. So parent sizes, we can do uh, books that are a little bit smaller than 12 by eight. We can do little hardback books. And something that's really fun is we even have pocket books. So you can get little, little pocket options. And these come in about 30. And just as a, as a point of reference for how many people get albums, uh, up until a couple years ago, I got um, a little pocketbook for every, every album I ordered. 
So, so here, here are some real life client samples. I even have more. <laughs> so albums are popular. And if you watched earlier, you know, you saw the five reasons why. So these are all real copies of client albums. Um, and if you want to see what those look like, I can share this with you as well. So here is a, a, lot, of, a lot of books. That was probably super loud. Anyway, there's that real client album here. So that was a sample. This is one we did for Yulia and Frank. Um, you can see here. And the thing about uh, our books or the sample books is we do a lot of different weddings. This one here is just a really nice mix of the couple, uh, a bunch of different stuff. And these include family images as well. So more photos like this. We've got all sorts of fun stuff in here. Let's see. Ceremony, everything. So really big, really popular. First dance, etc. So albums are nice. This is one I think you'll want and you will love. Very customizable. Second option is our linen book. And this comes in uh, a variety of sizes as well. So this is a 12 by 12. This is our thin book. So this one's a little bit thinner. We can also do thick pages uh, to the same price. Same kind of layout. This one's engagement photos, but these are square books. So they're not as long, but you can see we do different kind of layout here. You can do full, full spread images to the sides. This is popular for engagements. It's popular for birthdays, families, etc. So another option here, and again, we can customize this. We can do all sorts of different types of linen. Here are some options as well for that, different colors. And we can also do those in leather if you want. So tons of options. <laughs> I have books everywhere in front of me right now. It's kind of stressful. But let me know what you guys like, uh, what you're interested in, and I can get you some pricing, and we'll go from there. Thanks so much. All right, we're on to the next part of the show, which is Q&A. Um, Still no questions, so you guys are embarrassing me. Please feel free to write in questions. I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep it up here until I get a question I can talk about, and then uh, we'll get back into things that I like for the week. All right, we're into the next part of the show, and that is things I like. And this week I want to talk about one of my favorite things, and that's swag. So the stuff we all get, and I love to print things with my logo on it. And one of my favorite companies to do that with is Sticker Mule. The reason I love Sticker Mule is because every week they run a different promotion. So it's like $19 for 50 of this, 50 of that. And I use it for all sorts of things, just a pilot to try out. And I'll show you some examples of stuff that I've gotten. Coasters recently with Till Death, which I will be available to my clients. So Till Death do us part. Stickers with my logo on. I also have stuff for the car. So car size stickers, uh, which is really fun. I have the Pittsburgh Photo Club, some stickers I made for them. So that to us part here again, we have pins. We have lots of pins and even a keychain, which is available for purchase on Facebook. All sorts of fun stuff, old school stickers. So as you can see, I love it. I love printing stuff. Um, I'd recommend signing up for them. There'll be a link in the bottom. You can get $10 credit, use my link. And I recommend it because who doesn't love things with their logo on it? So thank you guys for tuning in. Let me know if you have any questions about albums. If you have an album, what you think about your album. If you look at your album, I would love to hear about it. And if you have any opinions and thoughts, questions for me, please, and what you would like the next show to be about. Thanks so much for tuning in and have a great day.